Welcome to this Debaco University video looking at drip irrigation specifics for indoor cannabis production. So as the image shows here, here's some cannabis plants growing and they're using a drip style irrigation system. So let's talk about some of the specifics associated with this type of system. So first off, the general basics of this system. Well, drip lines are basically used and with tubing, as we can see going right down the line right here. And its goal is to precisely deliver water to the plants and precisely deliver water to plants in a very even and consistent manner as well. This is often done with low pressure um, and regulators to ensure consistency even in a large operation as we see in the image here. Timers are typically incorporated to allow for automation as well as potential for water sensors to again help maintain consistency amongst all the plants. Now the advantages of drip irrigation are that there's water savings simply due to less waste. There's also reduced fertilizer loss due to the precision of delivery of to individual plants, and also the ability to automate to allow for consistent conditions for the plants. And it's very easy to maintain a drip irrigation system, and it also has a long life expectancy of its components. So for all these reasons, this is why drip irrigation is a system that's used by many growers. However, there are some challenges with any system and drip irrigation is no different. So there's potential for salt accumulation due to lack of waste or leaching water. Uh, there could be clogging within the system, uh, filters are not put in place, or the filters themselves could clog if they're not checked. Leaks can also often have uh, many fittings, uh, so be sure you're checking the system for those leaks and checking the system regularly should be done in general. There's also a need for specific parts and extras to allow for quick replacements. So there are some drip irrigation specific components that need to be purchased and also purchased with a little extra in case something was to break or fail. The equipment required, so in general, we're looking at a um, drip system, uh, drip spikes, transfer tubing, main lines, fertilizer injector, timers, valves, filters, pressure regulators, and connecting fittings. Now looking at this list, it does look like it's quite extensive, uh, but a lot of these things come together as a kit. Um, a lot of them are just long lasting components that don't necessarily need continual replacement. Now drip irrigation versus hand watering. Why would someone choose one versus the other? Well, both deliver specific amounts of water to the plants individually. Hand watering requires daily labor to accomplish this. Drip irrigation can drastically reduce the day-to-day -day time spent accomplishing this same task. Also, since it can be automated, the drip irrigation, it's easy for growers to decide to go with multiple watering events in a day if it's needed, since it'll just be a quick program change. Instead of going through and watering the plants once a day, doing pulse um, irrigation irrigation might be advantageous and the drip irrigation is a system that allows for minimal loss and allows this to be very easily done, especially if timers are incorporated into the drip irrigation uh, system for your cannabis plants.